Hi, my name is Natural Rai, and this is Black Queen's Battles. Um, it was written after a discussion between a group of wonderful ladies about the relationships and the challenges that black ladies face trying to find true love, relationships and, you know, that perfect match. Black Queen's Battles. The most powerful piece in the chessboard is the Black Queen, with a crown of ether nine and adorned with menelin. You have fought many battles, overcome many things. But one of your most ferocious battles is finding and keeping a king. There's an abundance of pawns, stallions, rooks, an assortment of knights. But to find the royal match, the Black Queen must fight. See, she's been told that the idle queen is soft-haired and light. Or better still, a queen who is white. But what double standards the shame and disgrace when a black woman chooses to date out of her race? Statistics record the black king is most sought, but the same surveys would suggest black beauties are naught. A history of racism has created this norm. So some lighten their skins, sew in weaves, soften their characters and generally conform to media images and ideals of the West that say thinner and lighter and quieter is best. Black woman is wild. Black woman is loud. Black woman is angry. Black woman is proud. Black woman is strong. Black woman forgives and keeps going, even if her man is doing her wrong. Still suffering from the legacy of slavery's curse, black male promiscuity, which forced the black queen to live too independently. And now our kings say, you're too strong for me. But we still need love, support and security. The Black Queen has evolved. We've stepped up our game. We're seeking out kings who are doing the same. Why is it such a struggle to settle or even to date? It's a sore subject that brings great debate. But the Black Queen is patient and willing to wait to find her true match. Checkmate.